Hi, I'm Dr. Amy, and it's time for the weekly blog video. And I'm choosing to do this blog video while I'm traveling because it really brings home the point to me that we all have our stories. And as I people watch while I travel, you can tell a lot about a person, and you can tell a lot of what their past has been like based on how they carry their body and just the information that you can see in their body. And that's what this week's blog is about, is about the long-term effects and how this actually becomes our biology. So we call it like a trauma biology because it actually does change our DNA. And one of the best studies that looked at this was the ACE studies, and this was originally a study done out of Kaiser, where Dr. Folletti realized, recognized, that a lot of the patients he was seeing in his weight management um, practice that were especially getting some type of um, weight loss surgery had a large portion of them, several of them had been sexually abused as children. And so starting to recognize this association, then now it's blown into all of these studies called the adverse childhood experiences where it shows that based on certain criteria they look at in your childhood that reflects how much stress you were under, how tough your childhood was, that it's correlated with all these diseases as an adult, not necessarily as a child, but as an adult. And the way that works is that that trauma becomes our biology and it does change our DNA. One of the most interesting studies for me looked at how the um, separation in early childhood from moms for a few hours a day in rats, then in adulthood, their brains were actually having increased inflammation in response to anesthesia. So this was showing that it actually does change our DNA. And then it also changes our hormones, it changes our stress response, it affects our sympathetic and nervous system. And so these are all the changes that how trauma gets into our biology and becomes our biology so that no matter where we go, no matter how many times we try to change our life, change our environment, change relationships, change careers, we find that we are still the same people doing the same things because trauma has become our biology. So the list of diseases that are associated with childhood trauma is really long. And I would imagine that at some point we're just going to realize that every disease is correlated. Even if it's not directly caused by it, it certainly is made worse by having a tough childhood, a stressful childhood in which survival kind of was the, the way to get through your childhood. So I guess the end point is also though that this is not a death sentence, right? Like this is something that you can change and by recognizing it, that's the first step towards changing it. And we'll look at this in more detail in later blogs, but just know that your health is affected on such a deep cellular level after having experienced trauma. And so be gentle with yourself and start to recognize where it's showing up.